Hi there, welcome back to the channel and let's solve the problem nearest smaller values. In this problem, we are given with the array of n integers and our task is to find for each array position the nearest position to its left having a smaller value. So we need to display nearest position to the left having a smaller value. Let's look at with an example. So here we are given with the position and the array of values. Do note that we are starting with position as one based index not a zero based index because in the question it demands the position to display one based indexing so clearly we are at the first position and to its left if we look there are there is no no number right so in that scenario we need to display zero now we will move forward now we are standing at position number two and we found we are at value five so if we look left we found this value which is nearest and it is also smaller 5 is smaller than 2 right so we will display 1 right because 2 value 2 is present at index 1 great now we'll move forward here we are at position 3 found and value is 1 now if we look to left can we find any value which is smaller than 1 no 5 is bigger 2 is also bigger that means in this scenario we we need to display 0 moving forward position 4 value 4 we look at the left we found 1 right so we will move forward on display position uh, 3 which is corresponding to 1 okay now position 5 value 8 we look at left we found 4 right so we will display its position which is 4 and move for moving forward we found 3 now if you look at left 8 is bigger right so we don't require this 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 can't be our answer 4 no this can't be our answer we found 1 so we will display position 3 right because 1 correspond to position 3 moving forward we found uh, 2 for this also this can't be answer this can't be this can't be so we will display 1 3 right because 1 is our value which is nearest is smaller now we move to last index which is 5 which is 8 and the value is 5 and the nearest is 2 so we will display 7 in this case okay so with this example i think if we draw this in a graph it would be much clear and let's try to analyze this from this graph let's take any random value so let's take this three and now question demands we have to look at left so we will start looking at left now when i look at left we found eight and this eight is a very heavy number than three right so can this 8 can be this 8 be our answer no right because first of all when we look at 3 8 is very number so this can't be answer for this position what about these position do you ever require 8 for the these uh, position no right for these position also you can't you don't require 8 so that means this 8 i can remove i can i don't have to see only what about this 4 4 is also bigger than 3 right so in that this also i don't require i can this can never be our answer what about this five this one one is greater than three no it is smaller and this is also nearest right this can this but two so so for this this one is our answer right this is our answer so that means for future also this one can be answer right if for this guy this is the answer for future also this can be our answer right we can we can predict that like for instance for take the two for two this this can be our answer but but these guys if we stand here these guys can never be our answer even for further values also so that means i don't require this in picture in further also so what the conclusion uh, we can derive from here is we need to store the, the we need to store the number in some container right we need to store in this these numbers in some container we keep on storing these number as we are proceeding because when we were standing here and looking uh, we required this as answer that means it has to be stored in some uh, some container and we also concluded that we don't require the, these values in future also so the second point we can derive this if the if this condition matches we need to remove also right what the condition is if the container we are storing and we look at this number 
and it is greater or equal to the current value which is this that means we can remove this so as long as this condition is fulfilling we can keep on removing the number okay now let's do apply these two condition with the example so i have some container i don't know what this container be for instance for simplicity we will take array for simplicity so we have position we have values we clearly know that we don't require uh, this is the first so there would be a uh, no number so we need to display zero we will display zero and also we we need to store this container in the, this uh, number uh, this value at some container right in some container because this can be required in future so i will store and i am storing its position rather than value because it's same right you can get value also by doing container and the position right so i am storing position okay now we will move forward for this again we we need to look so top is here this is let's say our top pointer and if container top is greater than equal to value so container top so container top is this is greater than equal to current value so container position 1 is 2 right so 2 is greater than equal to 5 no right that means we can't remove it and this is our answer also right because this is the nearest smaller value it is not fulfilling this condition that means this top is pointing wherever like the nearest uh, smaller value can be right so so this is not fulfilling this condition so this will be our ans our answer so we will display so result i is equal to container top simple so one will be displayed and now you see the benefit of storing uh, the position rather than value moving forward and also we will store 5 also right because in future this 5 can be required i don't know and i am saying that top value is always like the smallest so we'll move forward now we look at index 3 position is uh, position 3 value is 1 we look to the left so now we look at the left so container top that means container top is 2 so 5 is greater than equal to 1 right and yes this is so that means this 5 can never be our answer right because we have found one is smaller value right so in future th for these values also this one will do will one will do the job right so why to store 5 right so that means we will remove this uh, index number 2 which which is the posi position of 5 now we will again top will be here now we will look container top which is 2 is it greater than or equal to 1 yes it is greater than so for this this is also greater so we don't require this also so we will remove this now clearly this one can be the answer for these values right but these we don't require in future because we have found a smaller value we have found a smaller value so again we will move we will store this also and display so for since and also we can't find any solution for this so we will display zero no no smallest value is present for this guy now we will store this in our container because in future this can this can be our this can be our answer but for sure these won't be our answer we have we know that we will move forward now again this condition will check so it one is uh, greater than equal to four no so we will display its position which is three okay now we'll move and also store don't forget to store now comes eight and for this we will look so so four is it greater than equal to it no right that means i will display four right position of four and move forward and also store because in future let's say if some 10 100 is there so i can display this right that's why we are storing it now move forward we got three top is here right this is the same condition which i have discussed in the graph so uh, i can like i know that you you can guess what is happening here right now not even guess you know that what is happening so so again container top is greater than or equal to so container top is 5 right position 5 so 8 is greater than or equal to the current value which is 3 yes it is so we will we will remove it similarly goes for position 4 right 4 is greater than or equal to 4 that means we have to remove it now comes 3 is 1 greater than or equal to 3 no that means this is our answer and we will display right now we will move forward and also store this now comes 2 so we will look at position number three six which is three is three greater than equal to two yes it is greater so 
no required right why why you require this when you have found a smaller value so for future guy this can be our answer but this can never be our answer so we will remove this now top is here three so container top one is greater than or equal to current value which is two no right so we will display and that's what's the benefit of storing and we will move forward and also store it so top will be here now five so top is pointing to seven right so two is greater than or equal to five no so we will display it so seven which is this clearly so this is done and now if you clearly observe what we are doing is we are pushing the number from the back of the container if this is the back of the container and we are removing it right or if you don't like to say back say top we we are not touching touching here not touching here we are doing things from here only so i can clearly say that this this kind of container is nothing but our stack right we are removing from here from the back or the top and also checking from here so we can use container as a stack now let's write the code of this whatever we have discussed the same thing i am going to uh, write in code also so let's write the code of this now okay so the first line will be having the size of the array and the array values and we need to print the and in n digits each array position we need to print okay so uh, i have uh, done the inputting of the uh, size then the array and then i have written a small function which takes the uh, the number of uh, the length of the array and the array itself and return a vector which is the result and finally we display the result so let's write this function completed basically so we have the size we have the array with us what we need we need first a container and as told it ha will be a stack so let's name it container and also we need to store the result which is nothing but the position so i can write position and in initialize it with zero and at the end i can simply do written position okay so now we'll loop start from i zero i should be less than one and i less than what we need to do so first of all we need to do the removing con remove removing one which was if container dot top so we know that this container is storing position position of the values it is this container is storing so the top is going to give me the position and i will put this in our array and we'll see if it is greater than or equal to the looking value so looking or the current current index this i is our current index so if, if it is greater we need to do the pop operation right we need to remove this from our container but when we have to do as long as this condition fulfills we need to keep popping until we find a smaller value so until we find so that means we are not until then we need to keep on running this and i can also put a check also the container shouldn't be empty so this is just a check if it is not empty we can go on performing this remove part and if it is not that means we have found a smaller value so i can simply put this in our current in our result which is post array and since we need we need uh, we need one based indexing so that is what we i am adding one to this then also we need to put the put the uh, position also in the container that hence we will put this in we'll push this in our container not this container we will push the position also and we are done i think this is quite clear we will keep removing this we will add one and then we will also push the index because uh, we can fetch the uh, data by doing this also we can put a small check in here if container is not empty because in the first go it it is it can be empty so that's this is what this a uh, check is there okay so now let's try to submit this submit ppp okay so it has been accepted simple right 